Welcome back, Pure Structure Traders and YouTube for another market analysis for the London session and potentially into the US session. Today is November 15, 2021 here in Hawaii and will be November 16, 2021 in London. Today we'll be going over S&P 500 gold and also oil, give you guys some of the levels we'll be looking at. So again, if you guys do like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Any questions you guys got, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys. But with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So uh, for S&P 500, we did see some downward movement for the U.S. session and then hit off support 46.67.25. Nice one, two, three touches and then a pull back to the upside, retesting those 46.87.75s. And you can see that's where we rejected. So for the London session and maybe even to the U.S. session, we'll see. Um, if we get there before London, but I do want to see if S&P can actually bring it down a little bit further back into these 4670, uh, well, 466725. So that's going to be my area of support. We did hit off a key level of resistance. So I am looking for this to maybe pull back just a little bit here, uh, right around, let's just see, somewhere around this area of 70, no, I'm sorry, 80, 82, 83. Uh, right around there, if we reject off that level, that's going to be a potential opportunity back down uh, to the downside into 46.67.25. Um, that's going to be my idea. Now, we could look for sellers to come in right around these 87s. Um, I would say that's also a conservative area for a nice short if we get a double top in that area. Above that, 92.75 is my next level above. And you can see we kind of peaked above that too. If we adjust this just a little bit, we can actually see where we pulled up to. So moving up into these 96s, this may be a little bit more of a conservative area as well. That's a better level. So we'll just adjust that. That could be a nice double top where we try to shift it back down from there too as well. So keep that in mind, but as of right now, I do see uh, that we may end up seeing this market try to shift lower. So we're just going to try to look for that opportunity uh, if we get it as it tries to pull up. For those who want the long opportunity, I do think coming into these uh, 71 to 69s where we should start to see some support and all the way down to shift the low 46.67.25. That is where we could see a nice double bottom and a bounce back up. Now, if we get below that area, next level of support 46.58. And then 46, 42, uh, 75 is my next levels of support underneath. So we'll keep an eye out for that. As of right now, let's move on into a smaller chart here on S&P. So pulling up this chart for you guys, you can see we are having a nice opportunity of support right now where we had that little bit of a mid-level, 46, 77, 50. Could see this thing bounce and then maybe try to retest the upside from there. But again, I do think that this is more of a minor level that we could break and then see a shift back down into a main level of around those uh, 69 to 70s and then below that 67 as the support. So we'll see what happens here on S&P. But right now, not a good area to look for the short. It's right against the low of support. So keep that in mind. You want this to come back just a little bit and coming up into these 82 to 83s, somewhere around here. And then if it fails to break that, look for this shorting opportunity here for a move down deeper into that support below. So we'll keep an eye out for that. That could actually turn into a nice head and shoulders, uh, which pulls us down deeper. So keep an eye out for that. Um, let's go ahead and move into gold, see what's going on with gold for you guys. So pulling up the chart here on gold, uh, kind of a similar, well, we actually went into a little bit of a range. We got a nice double bottom off support here, right around these 1860 to about 61.3s. Uh, that is a nice support that we had. A little bit of a double top that you see, one, two, rejected that 1869.5. Uh, That's the area of resistance right now above that 1872.4. So keep an eye out for these two. I do think we kind of have a similar scenario on, on gold where we try to see a pullback, fail. That could be a nice head and shoulders pattern to pull us down deeper. I do think a little bit of a micro area of support could formulate here at 63.8. And then below that is going to be more of a major level, somewhere around 1861.3 to about 1860.6. That's going to be the target area of support down below. So keep an eye out for that. For those who are going to be trading gold, that's going to be a decent opportunity, getting it up into this area and then getting a nice short if we can't break through it into these uh, 63 to 64s and then below that into 60 to 61. 
Uh, moving over into crude oil, let's see what we got here on crude oil as well. So crude oil, nicely bullish, as you can see, went from being a strong bear. You can see we actually had a nice move down for the U.S. session. Coming into the support of 79.32, this was a great short opportunity that we took uh, into that level, and we had a nice double bottom opportunity right off that area. 79.32, one, two touches, and then a push back up. And then you can see it rounded out here for a nice double bottom there, and then a push higher. What we do want to see here, though, is we're coming into strong resistance. 81.65, where we peaked, you can see a wider double top that happened. So I do think we actually pull back a little bit here on oil trying to get somewhere around these 81 to 81 11s so for those who want a trade opportunity that should be a decent one to short back into this level and then watch out for that support to potentially happen here for a continuational climb that's what i'm looking for for the pullback trade again that could be an aggressive double top short so as you can see wider movement here could aggressively come right through that level targeting our next level 8047 then below that 7974 now resistance is above 8165 is going to be 8210 and then 8250 as the areas of resistance but right now um short opportunity into this level or long from this support if you continue to hold it whatever works best for you guys that's going to be the trading ideas that we're going to look out for on oil as well but that wraps it up for s p 500 gold and also oil again if you guys do like these videos please go ahead and smash that like button if you are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe any questions you guys got feel free to pop them in here on youtube we would love to help you guys um, and answer any questions you guys got again if you guys are going to trade make sure you guys trade well trade discipline make sure you guys have patience in your trading and make sure you guys are looking out for some clear setups and some solid trading opportunities other than that you guys take care you have a great night bye